deposit in this boiler tube was caused by solids in the boiler water, a condition caused by seawater contamination. To prevent this, the chloride content of boiler water must never exceed prescribed limits. Therefore, both boiler water and feed water must be tested at specified intervals. In this film, you will perform the chloride test. The procedure is the same for both boiler water and feed water. First, prepare the three reagents used in the test. Chloride indicator, nitric acid, and mercuric nitrate. Chloride indicator is stocked in capsule form to prevent deterioration. To prepare the chloride indicator, empty the contents of a single capsule into the chloride indicator dropping bottle. Next, add 50 milliliters of 95% ethyl alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. Place the stopper in the bottle and shake to dissolve the contents. To prepare the nitric acid reagent, transfer 50 milliliters of stock nitric acid to the reagent bottle. Add distilled water to the mark. and mix contents. Place the burette assembly on the reagent bottle and pump up the burette. Follow the same procedure to prepare the mercuric nitrate reagent. Transfer 50 milliliters of stock mercuric nitrate to the reagent bottle. Add distilled water to the mark and mix the contents. Place the burette assembly on the reagent bottle. Pump up the burette. Drain a little solution to be sure the burette tip is full. Then pump the burette back to zero. You are now ready to run the test itself, in this instance on boiler water. Use a clean plastic bottle to draw a sample of water. Let the water flow freely from the sampling connection to clear it of stagnant water and sediment before you take a sample. Measure out 25 milliliters of water and place it in a clean casserole. Add five drops of the chloride indicator. The sample will change to a blue, violet, or deep red color. Now add the nitric acid carefully as you stir the contents. Continue this process until the blue-violet or deep red color changes to yellow. Then add exactly one milliliter of nitric acid to obtain the proper acidity. You are now ready to start the mercuric nitrate titration. Stir the solution and add mercuric nitrate until the casserole contents just change to a blue-violet color. 
a faint blue color will first appear. Do not mistake this for the blue-violet color. Read the burette. 0 0.6 milliliters. And log the quantity used. The amount of mercuric nitrate used is equal to the chloride content of the water in EPM. For testing feed water, the procedures are identical with the boiler water test, except a 100 milliliter sample is used. Because the volume is four times as large, the mercuric nitrate used must be multiplied by 0 0.25. This equals the chloride content in EPM. Blow down the boiler if the chloride content exceeds the maximum allowable limit. Accurate testing requires proper care of the test cabinet. Before and after every use, clean each piece of equipment thoroughly. To check the accuracy of the reagent, use the standard solution supplied for this purpose. Only by careful performance of the test procedure and proper care of the equipment can you obtain the necessary accuracy in the chloride test.